NPA Championship Basketball at Ridley College. The National Canadian Prep Championship Tournament game, or sorry, day two, game one of the day. Yesterday we saw a jam-packed day, five games. We got six games on the docket today, including quarterfinal action. Starting us off here is Lincoln Prep and V3 Prep taking off on the consolations. My name is Joe Musa here with Dejuan Minot. Here to catch another yes full day sir. of hoops, DJ. Let's get game it. Game day two. You know, a lot of high level basketball to be played today on day two. Yesterday we had a plethora of games and it was, man, it was a great day. Yeah. Um, definitely game of the day was that third one. North Star. And Cali, yeah, the overtime game. Great game, yeah. man, great game. And we've seen some great matchups across that one, too. Yeah, that game was unreal. Back and forth matchup. We got a good one here, too. And then today, like we said, quarterfinal action kicking off. We'll talk a little bit more about those later on. But right now, we're going to focus on these two teams. Here's Tyreek DaCosta. We talked about him yesterday. Just uh, like you called him a dog. He's on that yep. first team, team all. all dog. You know, high level scoring guard that plays extremely hard and scrappy. Always in attack mode. And then for V3, Afan Razak, their big man, was really impressive yesterday. Very impressive. Turned it over that time though. Gurdip Kelsey and one. So the thing with these consolation games is you don't want to just come out here and, you know, lollygag. Oh, yeah, it's consolation. We're already eliminated. It doesn't matter. It does matter, and I'll tell you why for a few reasons. One, college coaches are in the building, and they will be throughout the course of the weekend. So for the coach recruiting, they don't care if it's a consolation game. They don't care if it's a championship game. If they're coming here to recruit players, they want to see you at your best. They want to see you compete. And then the second reason is... You don't want to go out on a bad note. You know, you want to represent, especially at this point in the season, for a lot of these teams, it might be their last, if you're a senior, it might be their last high school game. Like, take that in. Like, that's that's a pretty big deal. The prep season's basically come to an end. Um, so if you're a 2024, if you're a post-grad, if you're a senior, whatever the case is, you're going to the next level next year, then you don't want your last game, obviously, to be on a bad note or feel like you didn't leave it all on the floor. So really looking forward to seeing who's coming out and competing regardless of whatever result or anything the bracket's saying. So, so far it's been Lincoln. Let's see how V3 gets on the board with their leading scorer, Fabian Pummels. Costa now. Oh, big block. <laughs> nice move, Joe Lipper. Good defense by Lippert. Cross court pass to Kelsey. Front rim. Good and one. Aggressive finish at the rim, Fabian Pummels. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Fabian Pummels is going to find a way to get the ball in the basket. Absolutely. A number of times throughout the game. Like every time you look at the score sheet, no matter the result, he's always good for, you know, 18 to 22 points per game. That's around what he averaged in the season for NPHD1. 
and you know a guy that could do it from in a magnitude of ways yep. you know attacking the rim in the mid range you know catch and shoot three you know also not afraid to get to the free throw line so he can score the ball but he could score the ball in a variety of ways yep reliable B3 now pushing in transition. Got a bump call. Edosa. The strong finish. out pummels Boom. good hit Finish at the rim, Trayvon Folks. Technical foul. Called on DaCosta. Thought he got hit. You know, we talked a lot about, you know, his passion as a player, but obviously it's very important to be able to control that energy. Absolutely. Um, and not let you know, the game or anything that happens in the game get the best of you, especially when you're a key piece to your team. So here's Pummel shooting the technical free throw. is V3, doing a good job so far this quarter getting there. Three. 
Nice screen set that time by Adosa to free up Fabian. Couldn't get it to go though, but it's what you'd like to see, running your best shooter off a bunch of screens. Different flare yeah. actions. Try to free him up, make his life easier. Make the defense work at the same time. You constantly have to chase a shooter. That's tough. Guarding shooters are tough, man. I'm sure as you know, you know, obviously you've played too. But what's uh, what's a key to trying to lock down a shooter Ooh. when he's so good at moving without the ball? Exactly. You know, locking down a shooter like that, it, you know, it's a tough job because there's different ways to guard it. You know, obviously you can lock and trail and really just follow him, not give him any uh, space to get mm -hmm. the shot off. And you could uh, deny him the ball, you know, not let him run yeah. through those uh, elevator actions or the off, off any um, down screens or anything like that. So there's a diff there's a variety of ways of guarding a shooter, mm -hmm. but you got to be um, in, in good shape. Yeah, you gotta exactly. Have it it starts with that for you. Yeah. You got those guys never stop moving. Yeah, for sure. So the first time out of the first quarter, gonna take a quick break and return. All right, we're back here at Ridley College. First game of six on the docket today. So I hope you guys are tuned in, got your popcorn ready, or maybe you want to pull up here. Ridley College in St. Catharines as Elijah Adosa flushes it with two hands. And the real games, well, not the real games. Um, I mean, just the, the quarterfinal games, the exciting ones that a lot of these uh, college coaches have came to see starting at 2.30. CSJV and Cali Prep, quarterfinals action. Interested to see how that plays out. Again, the thing with Cali Prep is they won the NPHD1 league. Obviously, we talked about that, how they move up. But a lot of teams haven't played them before, like CSJV and, and North Star yesterday. That's why I think that game was so good. For 30, we got, oh, nice block. Uh, we got, we're gonna see Polaris Prep, the undefeated NPA team. At 4.30, they'll be taking on Edge. And then 6.30 for Erie Red and Ridley. And then the game of the night, 8.30, Royal Crown versus Fort Erie. We saw Fort Erie get a dub yesterday. And Royal Crown will be seen for the first time. Turnover.
134 left to go in this first quarter. We're all tied up, 23-23 here. You know, Lincoln is able to come out first, grab an early lead, but V3, they found their rhythm offensively now, so we got a game. Lincoln pushing in transition now. Pretty high scoring game so far too. Both teams on pace to score nearly 100 as Fabian makes it 25 for V3. Twenty six, twenty three for V three. Both teams looking to end on a positive note. Da Costa back in the game, no good. Kelsey offensive rebound, kick out. Three, no good. Ball tipped, controlled by V three. Shot clock has been turned off. Oh, nearly threw it down. Almost like he did last weekend. Yep. He's trying to get another one of those. Half court heave, no good. First quarter comes to an end here. 28-23 for V3. Let's take a quick break and see you guys in the second quarter. All right, second quarter action here at Ridley College, here for NPA Championships. Gurdip, deep three. No good, big board by Afan. Here's a two on one with Pummels. And Prince with the lay-in.
Nice two foot stop by Joe Lipper, old reliable. Yep, just way to be patient in there, you know, take his time, get yeah. his balance. He's a big time throwback, I like him. Not the tallest, not the most athletic, but just a high IQ player. Plays his position well. Picks up the foul that time though. Deep sets his feet and lets it go, no good. and the hop, kick out to Freyne. like V3 is starting to play with a swagger right now. Momentum is shifting in their favor, forcing Lincoln to play fast and outside of their comfort zone yeah. a little bit. Like V3, they love to play fast, you know, they love to push out. So they're trying to make Lincoln play to their pace, controlling the tempo of the game, and it's working out for them. There's a fawn. Oh, behind the back. Foul. Defense at the rim. Tyreek with the finish. Lincoln Prep. Don't want to let this game get out of control. Here they are in a zone. Nice defense again. Look to the corner. Splash. Good hit by DaCosta. Yep. Nice steal. All the way, draws a foul. There's that energy that we talked about from him.
Lincoln Prep on a 7-0 run now. see some of the coaches in the building for this early start. I see Simon Frazier, Ontario Tech. Casper College is here again. I'm sure the gym is gonna start to pack up just like it did yesterday. Yesterday we saw like over 20 coaches total. The D1 level. Juco, U Sports, ECAA. And again, for these consolation games, we talked about it earlier. I mean, the more, the, the further you advance, the more games you're going to play, meaning the more games you're going to have to shine in front of these coaches, right? Like, again, don't take this lightly because either your season could end now and you go home. And then you're thinking, oh man, if I had one more game, I, you know, I think I could have showed these guys something. Mm -hmm. Show us something, you know, and play as many games as you can, right? Try to win, try to win it all. If you play an extra two, three games, you're just increasing your chances of, you know, getting further noticed. I'm sure, I've, I've, I've spoken to a lot of the coaches and I've seen them make notes on players or, you know, put a little star beside the name on the uh, roster sheet. So they're starting to learn. But, you know, it's really uh, about seizing the opportunity and making the most out of it. And this zone for uh, Lincoln is causing them problems. there. puts an end to that 10 0 run by Lincoln.
Interesting how the game, the style of this game has sort of shifted in the first quarter. It was very high scoring. Both teams were on pace to score about 100. And in now, you know, quarter, it, it's, it's been the exact opposite. More defense, you know, linking in that zone, having a lot of success in it. Been more of a grind out game, as, you know, compared to the first quarter. It's pretty cool. I was wondering if that uh, type of scoring in the first quarter was sustainable. Defensive possession yeah. there by Lincoln once again. It's been a while since V3 has, you know, scored. I mean, they it's a 10-2 run for Lincoln, but it's been a while since they've got that lid off the basket or had any sort of rhythm. Got to credit the Lincoln defense for that. Hits it. Another assist for DaCosta. He's done a solid job of scoring and facilitating and defending in this quarter. And the cost of being very vocal defensively, yeah. you know, talking to his teammates, communicating with them, telling them where they need to be. So, so shout out to the cost of there, you know, being a real leader for oh, this team right oh, now. Floater from about 16 feet. Nice touch. Dante Cole, turnover. Telegraphed. Very deep up to the Costa. Oh. Oh, I just didn't need to do yeah. that one on. I was going in. He wanted that put back highlight. Yep. Manny, five points straight for V3. Nice spark off the bench. Tyreek, nice finish. Having himself a quarter. Kick ball. Yeah. Forty-two to forty for V three. The Costa leading Lincoln with twelve points, three assists. V three, twelve points for Pomos, three assists as well. Same stat line basically. Just under a minute left to go in this first half. The Costa again. 14 for him. Medosa gets it back to Pummels. Trying to make something happen. Nice pass in the middle of that zone. That's what you want to do. Great 
passion and great read on that play. Yeah. Four assists now for Pummels. Nice tip. Looking to get out. Foul. Wasim Fameni at the line for V3. No good on the first. That's the second. Shot clock is off. They might look to hold for the last shot of the quarter. To cross the corner. Three balls up. No Too strong. Nice block by Warner. He said, I don't care if it's a half court, you're not getting it up. So that'll do it for the first half. 47 to 42 lead for V3 prep. Here at Ridley College for NPA championships. Catch you guys in the second half. Don't go anywhere. Toronto, it's your boy Scotty Barr. Oh, the vicious dunk by Barr. Rogers Basketball is back, and we're ready to take over the NBA 2K League. Hot lane, home with the huge slam. Season 7 has some new faces and familiar vets. Get ready, it's game time. I'll see you all in the park. Go Raps. Pole Hoops Blueprint is a multi-layered platform designed to provide maximum exposure and growth opportunities for Canadian basketball at all levels, starting with grade five students all the way to the NBA. The foundation of the Blueprint begins with our strategic partners, the Playground Global, who provide world-class basketball facility access for Canadian basketball programming nationwide. The MPH Showcase League is an introduction to our ecosystem an exposure platform for club programs all across Canada to experience a competitive, developmental, and positive environment. All year round, this league reaches the players, coaches, parents, and the Canadian basketball community at large. This provides a great opportunity for sponsors to tap into a rapidly growing market and demographic within the high volume of foot traffic. The MPH Showcase Camp is our identification platform focusing on finding the hidden basketball talent Canada has to offer and guiding them to that next level. As a camper, you will have the opportunity to enter the NPH National Rankings, where player profiles are created, acting as an online resume. 
This database is directly connected to a network of over 150 prep and post-secondary programs. By attending our camps, you will maximize on scholarship opportunities, perform in front of national scouts, and get a chance to learn from MBA experienced skill trainers. The Game Speaks Combine acts as the elite, invitational-only camp that provides every player an opportunity to measure their talent up against the best prospects in Canada. A two-day event of skill testing, pro-level drills, and MBA-style combine with the ultimate goal of securing scholarships. Top performers raised their stock and are now elevated on a national scale to strengthen their recruitment opportunities. The Canadian National Invitational Tournament in July brings a team-focused evaluation platform. Since 2015, the CNIT brings over 100 top-tier club programs from around the world to compete for the national crown. The CNIT is Canada's only NCAA certified tournament that takes place during a live period where NCAA coaches are eligible to recruit prospects in person. At this stage, North Pole Hoops has identified Canada's top basketball prospects from coast to coast, placing them at programs within the Canadian basketball ecosystem and the elite level MPH league, the National Preparatory Association. Founded in 2016, this league is at the
Okay, we're back here. Second half action. V3 prep versus Lincoln prep. Oh, and right on cue, big block. And one. Oh, charge actually. Started as you know an offensive type of game, you know, high scoring, fast pace, slowed down in that second quarter with more of a defensive slug fest. Let's see what the trend for this third quarter is gonna be. You know, what team is gonna start off first, kick kick things off here, go on the first run. Yep. You know, these games are a game of runs, so and by the looks of it, both teams are still sitting in that zone. Yep. So I think you can expect more of the same in that second quarter where it's a little bit slower as opposed to the first. But you never know. Maybe they break the zone, force the other team to adjust, go back into a man. The Costa catches and fades. No good. Lippert, offensive rebound. Oh. Old reliable around the rim. start for this quarter so far. Prince Ojuku at the line. Lippert, all reliable, doing it again.
swatted. Oh, behind the back, Afan, no good. First free throw is good here. V3 extending their lead now to nine, 54-45. Swing the cost of baseline drive. Timeout. Gotta talk it over. Eleven point game. Back, third quarter action here. Lincoln Prep, V3. And the energy in the building right now is picking up. First game of the day, early start, but both of these teams, you know, it's been back and forth action early on.
this zone press has kind of slowed things up offensively for both of these teams. Pushing the cost a good bounce pass. Kelsey can't finish. But he's gonna get two at the line. Throws good. Now back to that 2-2-1. Two, two, Press Lincoln's been applying. Kind of slowing up V3's offensive rhythm here. Ball's moving. Baseline jumper is short. Pass is deflected. Now we have the Costa pushing up middle to the rim. Left hand, no good. V3, no numbers. Put it on a shot blocking clinic in this game. Yep. Great display of their timing. And athleticism. And baby one. and pummels. On the finish. He's gonna get the three point play the old fashioned way. Shot there, three balls pure. B3 attacking. Left hand lays no good, but he's gonna get two free throws.
And one, not. Kelsey's pull-up's no good. V3 now. Euro. Strong take. I like Adolso's activity this game on both ends. You know, he showed great display with his, um, his timing. Yeah. On some of those pins, those blocks. And then he's got some transition buckets too to go with that. Boom. Great three ball was pure. Another one. Couldn't recover it, but. Zero kick out. Oh my, man, V3. Dosa inside. That'll do it for the third quarter. V3 in control, up 11. See what Lincoln can do to respond in this fourth quarter. Fourth quarter action here at Ridley College for the first game of the day. Game one of six. So we got a full day of hoops here. NPA championships. Quarter final set to start at 2.30. Lincoln, charge.
In and out. Lincoln, still a bunch of time to get back into this game, but they got to start stringing together a few possessions offensively. That can help them gain a rhythm. Near turnover for V3. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be over the back. Over and back. Lincoln's gonna retain possession. Strong, strong take and finish. Extends their lead up 13 now, 77-64. Fourth quarter action in this consolation matchup. V3 prep, just playing with a different type of aggression level in this game on both ends. You know, we talked about their number of blocks on the defensive end, offensively. Guys are just attacking the rim relentlessly, whether it's Prince, Elijah, Fabian, Afan. You know, Lincoln obviously without their starting big man, Nate Stodart, which is a big piece for them earlier in the season. The second session in particular, he really broke out. So if you're an opposing team and you know that, then you're going to want to look to get it inside as the ball rolls to our broadcasting table. Boom. Automatic. He's just an effortless, effortless scorer. Yep, we talked about it, you know, being able to score it yeah. across three levels. And he makes it look easy. Fabi now with 22 points. Off the handoff now. Nice hit. 
Kyrie, nice telegraph in the passing lane. Finishes for two. Nice contest. Costa, if anyone's gonna help Lincoln get back into this game, it's gonna be him. Absolutely, you know, he's got, he's one of those guys that's able to go get it off the bounce by himself. Scoring a multi, in multiple ways, so he's got 24 in this game. Just under six minutes left to go in this one. A lot of time, let's see if the Costa and the Lincoln Huskies could go on a run here. Great defense here. The Lincoln Huskies really giving Fabian some troubles in the backcourt. There we go. Now they're fired up. Force a turnover. Plenty of time to get back into this. What once was a 17-point lead or 13-point lead, my bad. It's now just nine. 80-71. And momentum is now with the Lincoln Huskies. Just great timing. B3, they don't let any layups. They must have a no layup rule or something because they do not let you score easily at, the ba at that basket. The way to the rim gets fouled.
3.20 left. Lincoln prep down eight now. See what they can do, try to get back in this game. Oh, Afan try to tear the rim down. Backcourt. Careless turnovers in crucial moments of the game. Down 10 now, Lincoln Prep. We got a timeout called. Three minutes left to go in this one. Final three minutes left to go in this one. Lincoln Prep finds himself down 10 to V3. Shot clock violation, nobody really noticed. Time and score. That's pump fake. Loses it. Nice take. Down eight now. and two minutes left, V3 up by 10. Looking to put the nail in the coffin. Here's Pummels. 
Gets her Zoc handoff to Adosa. Comes downhill. Takes a bump. No good. Warner rebounds it. Lincoln's got to go. But they turn it over again. And a turnover again. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Tyreek DeCosta. Trying to keep his team alive here, doing whatever he can in this game. Fabian, oh! Try to throw it down again. He's had a few of those where he's really trying yeah. to put people on some posters. some time off the clock, up by seven. alley -oop. That might do it. Nine point lead for V3. Capping it off in fashion. And they can just hold it here. 89 to 80. V3 prep. Advance in the consolations. The NPHD1 finalists are now one and one here at NPA. Solid showing for them across two games. Tyreek DeCosta was brilliant for Lincoln Prep, but they couldn't just get over the hump. 3.3 seconds. And now they're gonna call it from here actually. So that'll do it for game one. Next one on the docket, we've got LDA and North Star again in the constellations. And then at 2.30, we're kicking off the quarters. So catch you guys at the next one. See you there. <laughs>